Here we are. It's Wednesday. It means it's time for another episode of Fat Boy Fitness. It is our 31st workout on our way to being able to do uh, 30 sit ups, 20 push ups, 10 deep knee bends, 5 pull ups, and run a 10 minute mile. You've started the video, let it play to the end. Go watch television, drink a beer, whatever it is you do, or play along. Move your arms back and forth, dance, do the Macarena, exercise along with me. But whatever you do, let the video play to the end. That lets YouTube know that people are watching and interacting so that they can uh, feed the video to other people who are, like me, trying to find ways to get better about their lives. Speaking of which, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a fitness guru, I'm a fat guy learning how to be fit on the internet. And I'm looking at different videos and I'm reading different websites just like you are because that's probably how you found me. Uh, don't take my advice, go look it up for yourself. But if you want to play along, here we are. I'm going to do some pull-ups, I've got the rings, I've got some rings set to a pull-up bar here, I've got them down. Uh, to where about arm's length when I when I lay down on the ground so, so I can do some Australian pull-ups. I'm going to do 10 of those. Then I'm going to do 25 crunches. Then I'm going to do 15 knee level push-ups. And then I'm going to do uh, 10 deep knee bends on each leg. I'm going to do three sets of that and I'm going to go to the treadmill. And so let's just get started. Here we go. This is not my favorite thing to do. Getting up and down off the floor is not fun for me. Working out is not fun for me. But you know what is fun for me? Putting on clothes that fit. And every time I do this, my clothes fit a little better. So with that in mind, I'm going to turn the page and get started. One. Two. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. That makes my heart pound through my chest. Goodness gracious. I don't know if you noticed, that changed the intensity. I move my butt further away from the rings and it makes it a little less intense. If I move my butt through the door the other way, it makes it more intense. But you do what you have to do. Start where you are with what you've got and keep working for, and keep moving forward. You don't have to do these exercises. You don't have to keep the same pace as me if you are doing these exercises. If you're more fit than me, do much, something much more intense. If you are less fit than me, then do something much less intense. You can wave your arms back and forth. Whatever you do. It started for me, it started just by not putting food in my mouth for 30 minutes. So maybe that's you. And that's okay. Start where you are with what you have. Go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Whew. I'm still sore from Monday. going to do 15 knee level push-ups. I've got these handles so that I can get a better bend on my elbows. Otherwise my big belly won't let me go down far enough to get a full bend of my arms. But 
I can't let that stop me from working out, can I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Isn't that funny? Have little bitty babies do push-ups all day long when they crawl and they roll themselves over. We don't think anything about them doing push-ups like that all day long. Crawling around, doing planks, doing push-ups. We don't think anything at all about them doing that. It's probably why they nap all the time. So they're always working so hard. I feel like I could take a nap. It's been raining here all day. Alright. I'm going to go down on a knee bend. I'm going to come up on the right foot and go back down and come up on the left foot. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Nine, ten, ten. All right. Be careful when you do those that you don't just bend over with your back because you'll convince yourself that you're doing knee bends when you're not. You're just bending over. It's raining all morning, so I decided I'd try to organize the studio today. I found a whole stack of sketchbooks. I don't know what to do with them. I started to throw them away. Then I thought I might start tearing pages out of them and send them to my Patreon supporters on my artistic biker page, which I don't have a Patreon set up, so <laughs> there's that. But running through all those ideas and then suddenly I look at my watch and it's almost 5.30. Crap. I gotta get this workout in before dinner. And I thought, well, I could put it off until after dinner. But then I'd be all full and uncomfortable. And it's easy to quit. It's easy to put it off and not do it. Let me know in the comments below what excuse almost kept you from working out today. Whew. All right, round two. Five crunches. Just trying to lift your shoulder blades off the floor right now in these crunches. That's all I'm trying to do is pick my shoulder blades up using my hands to 
kind of lift my, my head up so it doesn't strain my neck. I'm not trying to jerk up and fall down because that doesn't give you the same burn. And I don't think that builds muscle. Slow up, slow down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Whew. Don't forget to breathe. That's all I want to do is lay here and breathe. Like a little bitty baby. I'm just taking that. Whew. Everybody says they want to sleep like a baby. I don't want to sleep like a baby. They wake up about every 20 minutes. I want to sleep like a dad with four kids. Nothing wakes me up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to line these pads up, there's a board across the floor here, this is tile and that's wood, so there's a board across the floor here right in the entryway, the threshold of the bathroom. And so I try to put a mat on that side and a rug on this side and then a mat over the top of them so that board doesn't cut into my back and my butt when I'm trying to do crunches. It helps. But the stuff just keeps moving around. That's okay. We're two-thirds done. We just have this set uh, Deep, deep ends, and then one more circuit to go, and then we're done for Wednesday. Oh, and then the treadmill, and then we're done for Wednesday. So, here we go. One, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. Ten. All right. That's two circuits down. One circuit to go. We're almost there. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right.
talking about clothes earlier. Don't know if you've noticed my yellow artist t-shirt. I haven't been able to wear this shirt in about three years. As I keep slimming down, I got a whole closet full of clothes to fit back into. But they're all covered in paint. All of my best clothes are covered in paint. That's what makes them my best clothes. But it means I have to buy new clothes that fit. Yay! <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, who feel the burn. No pain, no pain. Oh, my goodness. What's a good stretch for that? You guys, you guys that do this all the time, what's a good abdominal stretch to make it where your gut's not so sore after you worked it out? There's got to be a stretch that alleviates that. Damn if I know what it is. All right, push-ups. Oh. Oh. Inertia. Oh. Inertia. We were just talking about that with my daughter in her homework in physics an object at rest will stay at rest until acted upon by a force progress. 
One more step here. Deep knee bends. This time of day, I let light in through the window shade. My wife came in a while ago to change clothes when she got home from school. She's a school teacher. She came in, she starts changing clothes, and she says, Windows wide open. People can see me changing clothes. I said, They can't see you. The angle's wrong. And she says, Well, I'm looking in a window three houses down. And you were just walking around here a while ago, buck naked. And I said, well, somebody over there has a telescope looking in this window so they can see a fat man naked. They deserve to see a fat man naked. I mean, if they want to see a fat man naked that bad, I think they should be obliged. And maybe they're just watching me work out. Because your wife thought it's not very good. There's always that idea. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Whoo! We did it. We did it. That means we take the blue marker. We put a mark across here. Let's make a green spot. Because we did it. Be sure and hydrate. that way. Turn that that way. It's dark. Maybe let a little light in. Here we go. Maybe a little more. Yeah, sun's starting to set. It's getting dark earlier. Well, we have another week. And then it's time change. Not this weekend, this Halloween weekend. No. Yeah, this is Halloween weekend. So not this weekend, but, oh, nothing works until you do this. Not this weekend, but next weekend in a time change. Whew. All right, put the safety thing on. Take the incline up to one. Set it on two so I can step onto it without falling off. Get my body back into the rhythm of moving like this. I don't know. It's been a little tough here lately, staying active. The last couple of times I tried to run, I got dizzy. So, 
we may have to build up to that just a little bit slower. Five minutes may be a bit much. <laughs> we'll get there though. But we're going to do five minutes of three miles an hour at an incline of one. And then we'll do five minutes of four miles an hour at an incline of two. Or at an incline of one, rather, because it's Wednesday. On Friday, we'll move it to an incline of two. So, we still don't have any new subscribers, and that's okay. Because the subscribers we have are taking care of each other. And that's a good thing. So, I appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed and to watch. But if you're watching and you're not subscribed, now's your time. Click the button. Ring the bell. Be notified. That way when I do call and collapse, you can see it. It'll be a teachable moment. It's like NASCAR. You'll be able to see the wreckage because I won't edit it out. It'll be a teachable moment. Maybe you'll get to learn CPR. Who knows? <laughs> Let's hope not. So I'm reading a new book called Do the Work by Stephen Pressler. I think it's Stephen Pressler. Do the Work. And I really like what he has to say about not waiting until things are perfect to get started. And when you Apply that, let's, let's go through a couple of examples first. So, you want to write a book, for instance, and you're waiting till you have a typewriter or a computer or the software to help you write the book. You're waiting until you take this class with the guy that's supposed to teach you how to write a book, even if it's an online class. You're waiting until you've done enough research that you fully understand what it takes to get published after you write a book or you're waiting until your outline is perfect or until you've got all the story right or you've got a list of vocabulary that you need to define and every time it comes time to sit down and write the book there's something else that you feel like you have to do to stop you from writing the book. And he says, write the book. Just sit down and start writing. Block out an hour and write. When that hour's done, edit it. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But it's a start and that comes into play a lot with art you don't want to draw something because you don't know anything about it or you don't think anybody would be interested in it or you don't have the right pencils or you don't have the right paper the timing's not right the lighting's not right you can't find a good model. All of those excuses come into play. For every artist out there, I guarantee you, they all have the same issues. And he says, draw the picture, paint the painting, learn as you go. And the more often you just do it, the the better you'll get and the easier it'll come. And then you can spend time learning how to do it as you edit. And that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense applying it to our exercise programs, for instance. I can't work out until I get the right shoes, till I have the right workout clothes. Till I have the right gym membership. Till I have the right equipment. Blade's got a treadmill. I don't have a treadmill. It's easy for Blade. He's got a treadmill. I don't have a treadmill. 
I don't have a treadmill. I can't do what Blade's doing because I don't have a treadmill. I don't have a pull-up bar. I can't do what Blade's doing. I don't have a pull-up bar. I can't do what Hampton does. Hampton's fit. I'm not fit. I can't do that. And the argument in this book, do the work, is just that. Do the work. Do it anyway. You don't have the right workout clothes. Work out what you've got. You don't have the right shoes. Wear the shoes you've got or don't. I don't have a treadmill. March in place. I don't have pull-up rings. Lay under a table. Use the table to pull yourself up. That one wouldn't work for me. Because I'm too fat. But the door frame did. What I was able to do door frame pull-ups, like he said to start. But the the point is is just to just to do the work. Start where you are with what you have. Going back to the book analogy, he says, when you write your outline, write your outline on a single sheet of paper. And then spend an hour writing about it. Then go back, after you've edited that, go back to your single page of paper outline and add in the gaps, some of the drama. And then write for an hour. And then edit it. And then just keep go back, going back and filling in the gaps. And then write for an hour. And then edit it. Applying that to our workout. Do some countertop push-ups. Do them until you can do them comfortably. And then move on. Edit it. Move on. Find another exercise that'll help you grow. You don't have to do the exercises I'm doing. Honestly, you can apply this to anything. You can apply it to sales, making phone calls. You can apply it to cold calls, rather. You can apply it to making widgets at a factory, opening a store. Yeah, you have to have some knowledge. Yeah, there's some forework that has to be done. But he says, do the work. You need a loan. Well, I don't know how to get a loan. Go get a loan. Go find a loan officer. Talk to them. Especially if you find a fiduciary, one that's required by law to help you. They'll talk you through it. You need to find space. Go find a real estate agent. They'll help you. you need to buy equipment. Find the vendors. They're in the Yelp pages. Or in the Google. Do they even still make Yelp pages? I don't know. But do the work. If you do the work, you can't go wrong. Okay, final minute. Four miles an hour at an incline one for the final minute. I'm trying to build back up. I don't know how we lost steam, but we gotta build it back up. How to make a minute stretch out forever. Put your treadmill on an incline of one. <laughs> Actually do a plank. One minute of a plank is way worse than this. <laughs> Almost there. guys thank you for joining me putting up with my rambling appreciate you watching 
I appreciate your comments and your support for me and for each other. Let me know if you did a different exercise. Let everybody know if you did a different exercise or if you have any tips, especially on how to stretch the abdominals. And I will see you Friday. Peace out.